yeah. Just another day, just another night, you know. <laughs> you know. We lost again. <laughs> Opening night versus the Warriors. Ring night. Lost again. Yep. Uh, where do we start? Not much to say. Again, like, again, y'all love to press me. You left us the last half of the season. Oh, ho. Oh. There was nothing to watch, nothing new. I couldn't say anything different. Every video would have been the same. I need creativity. I need room to be able to be creative and say something new. There was nothing new to say. I will say, okay, the beginning of the season, I was interested to see how they would do. I watched, went, went pretty much how we all said it would. You know, let's be real. You put together a roster like that. Rob Palinka, Rapa Stinka. Oh. You stunk it up, buddy. This is on you. Your luck has run out within the franchise, but that was on you right there. Passed up on a lot of different trades. I don't know whose fault it was, you know, but we passed off on a lot of trades. We have no shooters. We put together a roster of just nothing. Really, let's be real. We just threw people here. Oh, oh, he's free, we'll sign him. We'll sign him. Our defense is subpar. Zero to no shooting at all. Zero to no shooting. Um, I even saw Bev hit a sidestep, try to hit a sidestep three. Oh my God. One of those LeBron threes. I said, okay. Um, we're, we're definitely eliminated from um, playoff contention. Soon as I saw Pat, Pat Bev do this, he did this. And he, he jacked up a three. Then he jacked up a corner three as well with time still left on the clock. He's not a, he's not a terrible three point shooter either. That's the crazy part. He's actually one of the better ones on our team. That's saying a lot. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that the Westbrook era is over. What I mean by that is that we can't blame everything on Westbrook anymore. That's done. There was a point in time where it was just looking like, man, you are dragging us down. But I'm not going to lie. If you really watch these games, like he's he does a lot of things right. <laughs> I'm sorry. He be giving us extra possessions all the time. He gets the unfavorable media you know what I mean? They be zooming in on his bricks and air balls. Somebody said uh, one of his bricks was gonna wake up Queen Elizabeth and that's when I knew you guys were going to hell. And I said, y'all aren't gonna drag me with you. Sorry. <laughs> I'ma stay on the straight and narrow. You can't drag me down, but you know, y'all will go ahead and, and pick out those things and you don't really give him the praise and the credit for what he does. Um, the effort he gives through and through. So. Uh, I, I'm glad that that hate era is over because at the end of the day, this is not his fault. There's nothing he can do. Let's be real. The roster in general plays like there's just no chemistry, very disjointed. Um, you can see the difference, of course, against a team like the Warriors. It seemed seamless. Even though they weren't shooting well at the beginning of the game either, it seemed real like they had a game plan. They came in with, it looked like they came in with actual plays that they've rehearsed and they played together. Lakers, it looked like it was just a bunch of uh, guys from pickup that they just called right then. I got you. I got next. That's what that was like. That's what that looked like. No chemistry at all. It looked like these guys were or literally co-workers and not a team. They looked like co-workers. They were playing like co-workers. The other factor would be Anthony Davis. Um, me personally, just from the trauma that I've experienced, I think I do deserve compensation, as does every other Laker fan. Um, but I don't even expect him to stay healthy the whole uh, season. I have no faith that he will stay healthy. If he does, love him for that. You know what I mean? We need him to go Super Saiyan. Everyone always says this. He's the key. If he plays MVP level basketball, we can make some shake. And we know this. For him to play MVP level basketball, he has to be in the game. He's not going to stay in very long with those low top checkered vans he wears during the game. Oh. It's only so much we can do with low top checkered vans. Kawabunga, Aloha did a th uh, 360 kickflip dude. Shoes he wears in game. Knowing good and well he gets hurt. He needs orthopedics. He needs high, the highest of the high top shoes. He almost needs Doc Martin boots but he's wearing checkered vans and Converse and things of that nature, we're screwed. There's no chance, let's be honest. Like I'm a very logical person. There's no need to sit here and play around. Uh, 
I don't feel confident in his ability to stay healthy. Even if he does stay healthy, we need him to go Super Saiyan, okay? He puts up great numbers in this, uh, the box score. But you know, Laker fans, we know the difference between him just playing and him being dominant. You know what I mean? He's going to get you that 20. But we need him to be dominant and, and, and kill and carry. <sighs> With that being said, I don't have faith in that. Our shooting ability is just so low. It's only so much we can do, to be honest with you. It's only so much Mr. Darwin, uh, Mr. Darwin can do with, with little to no shoot, shooting at all, shooting ability. I think we can chop this one up to Rob Palenka. Now, we're playing the Clippers next, I believe. Look, man, I, st I don't care what happens. I'm gonna take us every time over the Clippers. I don't care if we get smacked, okay? I'm rooting for the Clippers to lose. I'm gonna be putting my Laker profit energy behind us. That's it, I don't care. And guess what, if they win this and they go, oh, they go crazy, y'all not winning. Be real. Clippers, I don't care, I don't care. I don't care, I don't, oh, Laker fans are always, this is what's wrong with Laker. Y'all get so butthurt. You get so triggered and so fragile. Oh, this is what's wrong with Laker fans. They always wanna talk trash, but they suck. Okay, boo hoo, you still not winning. After that whole paragraph you typed, you're still not winning. We don't care about none of that. Conference finals, who cares? We don't even hang banners for that. So Clippers, let's just be real. Oh, it's a new era. We got John Wall dugging before the game. Can it, I don't care if you win, can it. Doesn't matter, all right? Let's just get that straight. Cause I just, I'm sorry. I had to say it cause I seen some like, people getting a little bubbled up excited. Kawhi's back, okay, okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gonna be the same result, man. Another day, another night, you know? With that being said, I'm done here. Not much to say. What do you guys think in the comments below? Please, please, please let me know. Do not forget to click down below and subscribe if you're new, okay? This is a new channel. We're building on this channel, okay? We're close to a thousand subscribers on this channel. So we're gonna build up from the ground up, all right? Thank y'all so much for watching. And uh, we're in for a long one. Buckle up!